Good morning. I lift up my eyes to the hills, where all my where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life, and the Lord will watch over your comings and goings, both now and and forevermore. Amen. 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 It's your call to worship. <coughs> November the 12th, a day we'll never see again. Lord, I'm lifting you up, God. I'm lifting you up to the bereaved <coughs> God. Touch the bereaved family like they never been touched before. You know who they are. <coughs> we just have a member and their family is in bereaved. I want you to dispatch all the angels to camp around them, to gird them up, so they'll know they've been touched by the Master, God. Lord, go in the hospitals, go in the nursing homes, go in the prisons, oh God. Most of all, step by, retrieve your life ministry mm. and yes. touch us. From the front to the back, from the head to the bottom, God, just touch us all so we can have a Holy Ghost experience up and retrieve your life. So we'll know that we'll continue being touched by the Father. Lord, continue to go. Touch the people on Saturday when they come to mm. receive the baskets. Touch them. Give them that special anointing, oh God. Lord, we just continue to be steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in your word. We up under your wings, Lord. Touch the pastor today when he brings the word. Let it be unused touch that he never had before, God. This is my prayer. And I give you honor, glory, and praise in your name. Amen. Amen. He was just a few minutes ago. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because we all need more of the Lord. Yes. You know, we may think we, we sometimes we just think we can do everything on our own. <laughs> but sometimes you just need more of Him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes we don't ask Him for more. Right. You know, we get content thinking we are already there. Right. That's what that's what's wrong with that's what's wrong with Christian folks today. They think they already made it. Sure. They've achieved. <laughs> <laughs> They're there. I, I've been doing this. I've been doing this for 40 years. And you right. still ain't learned right. that. Amen. Because a lot of folks, you know, they think this because they've been doing something for 40 years. Well, I worked for 40 years. Amen. Amen. What what that mean? <laughs> it's different being secular and bringing it over into the spiritual, you know, because you continue to grow each and every day, no matter how old you are, how long you've been doing ministry. You grow and grow and grow each and every day of your life. Amen. And the, the, the learning never stops. You know, when you're on that job, you continue to learn. You want to, you want to excel. You want to, you want to make sure that you're giving your all. Right? Mm -hmm. And in life, this is what we're doing for the Lord. We should want to just give our all. We should always want more of him. I don't know about y'all, but I need more of him right now. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because yes. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to Try not to look at y'all, amen. <laughs> and, you know, when I raise my head, all I see is his faces, and then, and then everybody act like, uh, you know, we, we're not at no few. <laughs> amen. And, 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 and you know, I'm, I'm praying for Ebony and her family, and, you know, mm. even come Friday, we ain't been no few. Amen. Right. Come be at home going. Amen. We're going to celebrate life. Yeah. Amen. And this is this what's wrong with the living. We don't celebrate life enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We act like we did. Mm. Mm. 
And we should be celebrating life. Think about it. everybody sitting here this morning. God didn't have to wake you up this morning. I'm sorry. No. By his grace and his mercy, he breathed through your nostrils and gave you life once Amen. again. Amen. How many of y'all really actually Thank know you that know. you actually stop breathing when you sleep? Amen. Amen. A lot of people don't realize that. You actually stop breathing when you sleep. And those of us with sleep apnea, we stop breathing a whole lot. I remember before I got, got diagnosed and I went to the sleep study, I stopped breathing almost a almost hundred times that night. Wow. And they said that was just too much. Ooh, wait. So now I got to be on a little machine to help me breathe at night so I don't stop breathing permanently, I guess. Amen. Amen. But think about that. I don't even worry about that because if I'm going to stop breathing permanently, it's because he's calling me home. Yes, amen. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 Whether you're on a machine or not, <laughs> when it's your time, yes, you go. Yes. So we should celebrate life each and every day. Yes. Because God is good. All the time. It don't get no better than this, y'all. It really don't. Hallelujah. Enjoy this time you have while you have it. Because you don't know when your end is going to come. Amen. 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 Stop being angry. Yeah. Stop being bitter. Yeah. Stop being petty. Yeah. Enjoy life. Yeah. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to speak to y'all this morning about life. <laughs> enjoy life. I'm telling Thank you, enjoy you this life. Thank you, God. And I say that because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at myself. I look at my, I look at my own. I thank God. He, he, 81 years old. Hey. Be 82 in, in January. Yeah, he been 82 in January. Life is good. Yes. yes. Celebrate life. Yes. You don't know you're going to get 80. Amen. Amen. You don't know if you're going to hit 50 or 60. That's right. Or 70. I'm trying to get there. Amen. <laughs> trying to see 7 0. <clears throat> but we don't know. So enjoy this life while you have it. Because sooner or later, it's going to come to an end. And when it comes to that end, are you ready? Amen. Amen. Enjoy life. Prepare yourself. Get ready. Jake said it better, don't he? He said, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Are we ready? Are we ready? Amen. 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 Good morning once again. Good, Good morning. morning. November the 12th. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 2017, a day you will not see again. I said I said the eleventh day earlier and uh, they, they they corrected me real quick. Amen. All right, wait a minute. Yeah, they, they, yesterday was eleven. I just want to praise the Lord. <laughs> and uh we want to thank all our veterans, amen. Thank you for your service. Amen. This Veterans Day weekend. Uh we got some veterans in here. We just want to just thank you all for the service that you provided to this country. So that we have the freedoms that we have. Amen. 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 And you know how we do it all, all YLM. In Florida, an atheist became incensed over the preparation for Easter and Passover holidays and decided to contact his lawyer about the discrimination inflicted on atheists by the constant celebrations afforded to Christians and Jews with all their holidays while the atheists had no holiday to celebrate. Mm. Now, the case was brought before a wise judge who, after listening to the long, passionate presentation of his lawyer, promptly banged his gavel and declared, Case dismissed. Mm. The lawyer immediately stood and he objected to the rule and said, Your Honor, how can you possibly dismiss this case? Surely the Christians have Christmas and Easter and many other observances. And the Jews, why, and just the pastor, they have Yom Kippur and Hanukkah. And yet my client and all other atheists have no such holiday. The judge leaned forward and simply said, obviously, your client is too confused to know about or to celebrate the atheist holiday. The lawyer pompously said, we are aware of no such holiday for atheists. Just when might that be your honor? <laughs> the judge said, well, to be exact, it comes every year on the same date, April 1st. <laughs> 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 so 
Say it like you mean. This is my Bible. This is my God. And the word of God. And whom I will trust. Amen. Amen. If you would turn your Bibles to the book of John. John chapter 15, starting at verse 1. John chapter 15, starting at verse 1. Through the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. John 15, starting at verse 1. from the NIV in the Bible that reads as thus, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither you can bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. This is my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit. Join yourselves to be my disciples. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. Briefly, briefly, want to talk about this. All I want to talk about this morning and share with you all is life. Life. We started out talking about life and just how precious it truly is. And how we just really take advantage of this gift that God has given us. There are even people that are incapacitated or just unable to do anything, yet they still have life. If you've never experienced or ever been around people that are handicapped or just incapacitated to do anything. And those that are paralyzed and just can't do for themselves. If you're ever around those kind of people that make you kind of appreciate life and take life just a little bit more seriously than we probably do. I volunteer up at uh, John Cochran here uh, on Thursdays. And majority of the time, if I'm not up there, they're similar to John Cochran, where, they, where a lot of the veterans that are, you know, and uh, disabled and going to physical therapy. A lot of it's done with Jefferson Barracks, and to go over there and talk to young men. I'm, I'm talking about young men that's that's like 22, 23, 25, 28, 27. Majority of them are under 30 years old. No legs. Maybe missing an arm, maybe missing an eye, scarred. And all of this from war and battle. But yet when I talk to them, they have so much life. They don't feel sorry for themselves. They don't blame nobody. They're just happy to be alive. Amen. Amen. And they do everything possible to make their lives normal again. But it's people like us that look at them in a whole different light. See, we look at them as handicapped. We look at them like they need help. When sometimes they just want to just help themselves. They just want to be just like you and I. 
Treat me as you treat anybody else. Amen. Amen. And that's one thing they tell you, and they tell you that in the heart. <laughs> treat me like you treat everybody else. Don't treat me no different. Yet, people today abuse life. Mm -hmm. Just like these men and women are so grateful that they still have life, and they thank God every day for the life that they have. How many of us <clears throat> that still have our limbs wake up every day by the grace of God, able to go to our jobs, <clears throat> how many of us are just grateful for life? Amen. Some people wake up every morning like it's just they're supposed to. <clears throat> Not thanking God not one time. <clears throat> thinking that it's, it was a given for me to wake up this morning. <clears throat> not knowing that it was God's grace that allowed you to open your eyes. Point number one, the source of life. The source of life. What is the source of life, Pastor? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Hmm. All I want to tell you. He said in the word in, in John 15, in, in verse 1, he said, I am the true vine. And my father is the gardener. They don't think they're branches yet. <clears throat> right, right. The source of life comes through the vine. Mm -hmm. The gardener takes care of the vine. That's right. Because without the vine, the branch doesn't have life. Mm -hmm. See, what I'm trying to get you to understand is the vine is Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the Father, we all know who the Father is. He's God. Mm -hmm. The branches, here we are. <laughs> and this is why so many branches fall off and get thrown into the fire mm -hmm. because they stop trusting the vine. They stop growing off the vine because we think we can do everything ourselves. Mm -hmm. See, the source of life is not you. The source of life is the true vine. I don't know about you, but have you ever seen a great vine? How many of y'all have been to wineries? Because you know, I know there's mm -hmm. ain't no winery people in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't want me to say, my pastor, no, you know we drink a little, what you do with drinking and everything up there. <laughs> Amen. All right. All right. Let me, let me go another route then. How many of y'all seen a bush in your yard? <laughs> they got some vines on it. All right. All right. Amen. Huh? Amen. They, they, on a the vine, they got some branches. All right. You can just go on and use the tree then. You got, I know you see some trees around you in your neighborhood. <laughs> And the vine, and there's branches off the vine. Every now and then, when the storm hits, all right, all right, the branches. Every now and then, when the storm hits, some of the branches fall, fall off. off. Just like us, when the storms of life hit us, <laughs> we fall off the vine because we forgot about the true source of life. We fall off the vine. And have, have you ever noticed what happened to those vines? They don't come, they don't come and put them back on the tree. Hmm. They throw it right over there with the rest of the trash. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. For it to be picked up. And when they pick it up, what are they going to do with it? Make firewood out of it. Amen. I hope they got the word fire. <laughs> because that's what's going to happen to a lot of folks. When them branches fall off, they're going to get thrown over. And, and, and the word told you what it does. You're going to burn it. It's hot in hell. <laughs> hint, hint. You might pay attention. Mm -hmm. Point number two, the scars of life. Oh, Jesus. 
In verse 2, he said, he cuts off every branch. <laughs> he cuts off every branch in me <clears throat> that bears no fruit. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. While every branch that does bear fruit, <clears throat> he prunes. So that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. I'm going to get to that part in a few minutes. Amen. But every branch he cuts off that bears no fruit. And the branch that does bear fruit, he prunes. See, how many of you all are being pruned? I, you know, I meant to get me a something this morning. I, I sure forgot my mind was somewhere else. But I meant to give you all an example. I was going to go buy a rose with some scissors. And I was going to cut it. I was going to prune it. So you can see the actual pruning process. And see, sometimes some of us need a prune every now and then. Amen. Some Amen. of us need to be pruned Amen. daily. Amen. Daily. Hello, somebody. Hello. Uh, see, because if you don't get <clears throat> if you don't get the proper pruning, just like Amen. a <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> just like a, a rose. How many of y'all have received roses before, Amen. ladies? Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. They don't last, do they? Because uh -uh. half of y'all just leave them in the vase and you don't take it out and prune it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they die real quick. Like, um, them wasn't no good, more cheap flowers. <laughs> you didn't prune it. All right. You the garden. All right. All right. Amen. Because if you read the instructions, the first thing he tells you to do before you even put them in the water is prune it. Huh? Amen. Gives it new life. Yes. Oh, I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's wrong with us today. All right. When God tries to prune, all right, we running and just sitting in the water like the rose. See, that's what I love about him, because he's the gardener. He tries to prune us, but we don't want to be pruned. We'd rather wither and die. This is why a lot of folks don't bear good fruit. And that's why you get cut off. I don't understand how, how more simply can I say it when the word says, he cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. He does. God cuts off every branch that's in Jesus that bears no fruit. If you're not serving him All and right. bearing good, it's something, okay, maybe make it simple for you. It's like God has a wheel <laughs> and you in the wheel. But you're not doing what you require of you, what he wants you to do. So what does he do? He wrecks you out the wheel. He cuts you off. How many of y'all got a wheel? I'm just gonna stop asking him anything. <laughs> I can't get no, I can't get one in. Amen. 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 Am I the only one in here with a wheel? Amen. Y'all y'all better wake up. Ain't nobody gonna be here forever. Amen. Get your living wheel, better get some kind of wheel. People be fighting over your money, over your house, and everything else. <laughs> Those that got money. <laughs> he said, you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Okay. See, these are the scars of life. We don't like to be pruned. Some of us don't prune. And I hope from now on when y'all get some roses, y'all start taking care of them and prune them roses every now and then. And they'll stay up, they'll stay, they'll stay, they'll live a little bit longer. Take them out of the water every two days. Amen. And cut them. Amen. Amen. Hmm. And watch it continue to bloom. Amen. Now, if you let the Lord prune you, <coughs> oops, oops. you will continue to bloom. <coughs> Amen. Instead of being one of the branches that fall off that Amen. withers and dies. Mm -hmm. And this is why he told us in, in, in verse 3 that you're already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. See, you're clean because of the word that Jesus Christ has spoken to you. But who's listening to the word? 
Some people don't even know they clean. Why? Because they don't read. They read everything in the world but the Bible. The one true book that will definitely help you, because let me tell you something, you can't pick up uh, uh, Sports Illustrated and think it's going to do anything for your life. Amen. Hustler, Playboy, Home and Garden. <laughs> the man will do nothing for your life. Zane, Zane, or whatever her name is. The Zane, that's her? Yeah. And the other Terry, 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 Terry. Terry, Terry. And what's her name? Mac Terry MacMillan. Praise the Lord. Thank you, brother. <laughs> you know them books y'all be reading? They're not gonna get. They ain't. Gonna, that's not gonna give you life. It's not gonna help your life. It's entertainment. It's entertainment. And I was. I'm just. I sometimes I just, I just think about if people can read books like that every day and say that you know I, I just I just love reading. Why can't you read the word? Why can't you look at the scars of life? Have you ever had some scars in your life? Yes. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yes. Hey, anybody ever been down a dark road before? Yes. 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 Huh? yes. Let, me, let, me, let me make it simple. Let me go to Psalms 23 on you. Yes. Have you ever been in the valley yes. Of, yes. of the shadow of death? Yes. But see, when you was in the valley, you didn't know who was walking with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. See? Nobody knows who's walking with them if you don't read and if you don't study and if you don't meditate or if you don't have a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You wouldn't know that his rod and his staff are with you. You wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know that even though you're in the valley of the shadow of death, you would fear no evil. You don't know that. Because we've all, it's been some dark roads we've had to walk through. Amen. And when you walk into that valley, ain't nothing in there but wolves. <laughs> Waiting. Yes. You know, wolves can be anything. Okay. Alcohol, mm -hmm. drugs, Amen. abuse, mental Amen. abuse, sexual abuse. Them drugs, the, the wolves can be anything. Waiting on you. <laughs> Any addiction. Addicted to money. Mm -hmm. Addicted to gambling. Amen. But the whole bunch of people on the boat right now at 1120, yes. Sunday Amen. morning, Amen. on the boat. Amen. I guarantee you the boat right now is packed. Yeah. Church is empty. <laughs> Maybe I need to go preach on the boat. <laughs> Get kicked out. <laughs> but these scars, you are, this, this is part of the process of, of life. The scars of life. Did y'all ever see the movie Life with uh, uh, Martin Lawrence and, and Ed Murphy? I know most of y'all have seen that movie, right? Yeah. In that process of life, there were some of them getting life, but then in that, during that process of life, did you see the change in Eddie Murphy? Yes. Along the way, throughout the years? Yes. There was change in that life. How many of us are incarcerated within ourselves and don't want to make the change of life. Amen. Amen. So many people have thrown away the key to their own heart and serving life without parole. Hmm. Oh my. my. They don't be bothered with nobody. They don't like people. Hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. And you know, when, they, when all that, they don't even like themselves. Amen. That's right. Everybody always bitter. Amen. Pit. Amen. Attitude. Negative. Oh, Lord, I can just go on and on and on. Amen. I just, Amen. Give me a book and let me just write it. Amen. Give me a good name for it. Yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Mark. The scores of life. Point number three. The symphony of life. Oh, my God. Because in 4 and 5, he said, remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. See, that's what's wrong with us. We think we can bear our own fruit. We think we grow by ourselves. We forget that we're on the... 
Look, you're not divine. You're not the backbone in the spine. You're just a branch that can fall off. It must remain in the vine. He's telling us right here, remain in me as I also remain in you. Because as long as you remain in Jesus, Jesus is going to always remain in you. That Holy Spirit is no joke. Amen. No branch can bear fruit by itself. No branch. Nobody. Nobody. No branch. No branch. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. He said, I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I do, you will bear, bear much fruit. Amen. Much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. This is what's wrong with Christian folks today. See, as Christians, we claim Christianity, but we play Christian. That's right. Let me say that again. <laughs> As Christians, we claim Christianity, but we play Christians. We come to church when we want to. Go, you know, we say, you know, I can miss church a few days. It ain't no big deal. I don't need to be there. Church gonna go on without me. You, you got that right. It is gonna go on without you. But if the Bible tells you to <laughs> see. <laughs> Like Assemble yourselves with like kind. Mm -hmm. And you can't assemble yourself with Jakes on TV. Amen. Joel Osteen. Amen. Uh, what's the lady's name that, that's from here? Joyce Myers. Yeah, her. Joyce Myers. Mm -hmm. We're turning on the two real quick and then put, put them on. You know, let me see if I can get on the new TV station. They got uh, Son of Son, something. It's, Jimmy Swag, but you know I ain't gonna do that. I don't even believe in Jimmy Swag. I feel crook too. <laughs> but this symphony of life, man, your life should be a symphony. It should just be plain, smooth. You know what I'm saying? I a concerto. You should just, just, just smooth. You, you should be a symphony of life. Your life should be a symphony, not death. Because some of our lives is dead. We think we're full of life, but you're dead. Yeah, that's the truth. Dead man walking. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> dead man walking. You know the one that, that's in prison and them coming themselves? Dead man walking. Okay. You're on death row and don't even know it. Mm, okay. Instead of being a symphony of life, All right. you're a death of All life right. because you're killing your own self. Oh, I'm on the road, brother Marlon. Yeah, yeah, you is. Mm -hmm. And in verse 7, he said, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, oh, my Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Come on. I'm reading this word, but how many of us are going to let that word remain in us? Mm. Amen. Because that's why he said, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. So that's why some of us ain't got nothing. And we ain't asked. We ain't asked for it, and we don't remain in him. Amen. Amen. So you, we take a break from Jesus. All right. Huh? Then when something go wrong, we got to run back over to Jesus. All right. And we pray. And then when we pray, we just start asking for stuff. See, we ain't asking for stuff that we that, that, that can help us or enhance us. We're asking for stuff that's materialistic. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. We want a new house. We want a new car. I want a better job. I want to make more money. Right. Money is the root of all, root of all evil. I want y'all to know that. Yes, we <laughs> Don't let money rule you. Money will get you in trouble. Amen. Or sometimes, you know, when you ain't never had money, then when you get money, you don't know how to handle that money. That's right. That's right, man. That's why it'd be probably impossible. A lot of folks couldn't be millionaires because they'd be broke the next week. Oh, they're going to buy everybody a new car. Everybody's going to get a new house. Forgot about paying taxes. Right. That's right. That's right. But I'm just saying, this is the symphony of life. We, we, should be, we should be, oh, he said, this is my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit. This is, this is a, our glory to God, that we bear more fruit, much fruit. But you can't bear no fruit if you ain't on the, attached to the vine. All right. All right. Because you know, we told you, the only thing that would bear good fruit is attached to the vine. Yes. And he said, I am the vine. 
Wait a minute, hold on. Let them two words sound for me. I am. Yeah. I ain't talking about Jesse Jackson. <laughs> Back in the Old Testament, when he was talking to Moses, he said, tell him, I am sent me. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> and he says, I am the true vine. Catch this now, catch this. Jesus is in the book of John. John is talking about Jesus. That's Jesus' cousin, John. He's telling me, he's saying, I am the true vine. This is Jesus saying, I am the true vine. But then when you go back in the book of Exodus and, 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 and you read it, and, and God is talking to Moses and he says, Tell him, I am. Sent you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Tell me they ain't one of the same. Yes, they are. I am the true vine. Yes. Yes. When are you going to get connected? Hmm. Because you've been disconnected. All right. You know, some of y'all, it's just like a phone bill. You know, all them gas, you know, them gas and light bills, y'all, them notices y'all be getting. We're going to disconnect you because you ain't paid your bill. What? Amen. You know, for the life, man, I'm still trying to figure that part out. How folks can buy new Nikes and. <laughs> what true religion jeans and monkey jeans, whatever kind of jeans they wear in that day, they cost two and three hundred dollars, and and gas bill be a thousand dollars. Oh Jesus! Then they come to the church. <laughs> we need a loan. <laughs> this ain't Vantage Credit Union. <laughs> last but not least, last point: the scare of life. The scare of life. In verse 6, Jesus said, but well John said, he was talking about Jesus, if you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. So the branches are picked up and thrown to the fire and burned. If that don't scare you, I don't know what will. Hmm. See, some people will read that and say, hmm. Just get some branches, just and okay, they break, any branch breaks off, and they just throw it, in, they just throw it in, in the fire and let it burn. Just firewood. That's exactly how God's going to treat you. <laughs> like firewood. On judgment day. <laughs> like firewood. Ooh Only that fire doesn't go out. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to spend my eternal life in hell. Anytime he talks about being thrown into the fire, and if you read the word, he talks about it quite in quite a few books. Amen. All the way up to Revelation. <coughs> but people don't realize that they're going to be burned. Mm -hmm. Because right now, there are so many people that are so lost, they've broken off the branch, I mean off the vine. And one, because they, wouldn't, they didn't take to the pruning that God was trying to do. See, throughout your life, throughout your life, God just keeps pruning and just keep pruning you, cutting stuff off so that you can keep on having life. But with that life, he wants you to grow and bear fruit. Amen. <laughs> How many of us are actually bearing fruit? How many of us are actually sharing the word of God and bringing people to God? Amen. It's time for us to wake up and act like God and done something for you for a change. Amen. It's time for us to share the word and bring people to God. Don't be afraid to bring somebody to God. Somebody brought you. Amen. The scare of life. You should be afraid of what's going to happen to your eternal life. I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm, I'm terrified. I don't want to be one of them branches that they pick up and throw away to be burned. I want to still be attached to the, to the vine, even if the storm comes. I want to be one of them branches that stand strong on the vine. You hear what I'm saying? As the, as the storm passes through, the storm blows through, I want to... Put it like this. I'm going to Florida. I want to be like the palm tree, baby. But the hurricanes come and they blow. Right. And I'm going to tell you, them palm trees, they bend. They say, oh, that wind is 
is strong. Yeah. Woo! But when they come back up, the palms just are doing like this. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to give God praise like the palm tree this morning. For the gift of life. Because I want my life, I want to stand close as they attach to the vine. Yes. Yeah. I, I can't speak for nobody else right yeah. now, Lord, but I can show yeah. talk about me. I yeah. want to stay attached to the vine. Yeah. Keep me close, Lord. Prove yeah. me. <laughs> I don't mind cutting off a little bit of me every now and then. I need it. <laughs> yes. Amen. Because I want to keep having life. Yes. Oh, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Oh. Look here, you all. The yes. source of life yes. is real. It's re because he is the true vine. Yes. The source of life is real. The scars of life, they're real. That's everything that you face, everything you go through, everything you've been through. And the stuff that you haven't even been through yet. Uh, uh, because another storm is coming. Yes, you better, hallelujah. You better know that. Yes, hallelujah. You better get your palm tree on, baby. Let me tell you right now. You better go get your palm tree disguise and put it on and get ready. Yes, yes. You better learn how to withstand that storm. Stop. Thank you, Lord. Stop being like an oak tree and let the branch fall off, baby. All right. Huh? All right. Start standing like a palm tree. Yes. And withstand yes. the storm. Be strong in the Lord. Yes. Be strong in his word. Trust the Lord. Yes. Because the scars of life ain't going nowhere. Right. They're going to keep on coming at you. And let me tell you something. The more you grow, like the palm tree, you get stronger. Yes. You get stronger in the Lord. Yes. The more you grow in the word, the more you grow in Jesus, you get stronger. No. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Then be that symphony of life. Yes. Stop being deaf. <laughs> be the life of the party and stop being the depth of the party. Mm -hmm. That's right. Then the scare of life. <laughs> Y'all better be afraid. Hmm. Better start acting like you scared. Like I, I hear some of these cats come out. I ain't worrying about dying. Huh. Mm. You know, that's just part of the process. Mm. It is what it is. All right. I'm going to die for mine. Well, I'm going to die for mine, too, but his name is Jesus. <laughs> Ain't dying for nobody else. All right. See, this is what I'm talking about. We got young people out here that just don't know. That's right. And we got so many seasoned people that can help. Amen. But we don't because they ain't my business. They ain't listening to nobody. Let me tell you something. If you just touch one, Amen. If you just touch Amen. one soul. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. And nobody said you're going to, everybody you touch going to come to God. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you bring nobody. He's going to do the bring. Amen. You got to understand that. And we got so many, so many of our youth, they just, they're, they're lost. Yes, they are. Got them in my own family. Mm -hmm. Lost. And we say, well, what you can do? You can just pray for them. Because when you talk, it's not doing any good. Right. So give them to God and pray. Yes. pray. That's it, pray. Yeah. Prayer works. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't save everybody, you all. That's right. Let me rephrase that. You can't save nobody. Can't you can't bring everybody to Christ. That's right. Because a lot of people just going, they're going to stand strong in what they believe, which is nothing. So remember those four things about life. The source of life, the scar, the scars of life, the symphony of life, and the scare of life. And just enjoy life. Life. Amen. Enjoy your life while you got it. Amen. 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 Amen.